was fine because I had it was covered under a service plan, as they like to call it. So I didn't have to pay anything, not even for shipping. Got a free hard drive. Also, that's what it took at that time. Uh, Hold on. You know, remembering remembering the year it was, I finally got out of Vista and took the jump into seven. Been a happy camper since. Reloading. Okay. Because I was still running, I was still running Windows Vista at the time. Because at that time, that's all that was available. But then, uh, you know, Seven Pad came out around that time, and uh, uh, you know, it was a nice opportunity for uh, a nice, clean, fresh install of Windows and uh, all my other stuff. And uh, you know, some good came out of it. I got a lot of performance back. I also had a uh, charger. Clean setup of Gary's mod and my other add-ons because things were quite messy up until that point. I just became a pack rat with uh, stuff for Gary's mod. You probably know what that's like because of because of what Gary's mod is. You just get so much stuff built up, including things that conflict with each other. So, well, there was some good out of that ordeal. Also, speaking of optimization, uh, surprisingly, your campaign runs pretty damn well. I'm almost embarrassed to say that uh, playing your campaign, I've gotten the most frames I've ever seen ever since I've started playing Left 4 Dead in 2008. Oh. I think it's because you haven't really kept the screen yet, or the maps are still real small. But I saw my FPS go up to like freaking 90. I'm like, holy shit. This is the irony of it, you understand the irony of it. It's your first campaign and it's not even really, you know, done done. I don't know if you've done any kind of optimization to it, but it's the one that I've seen the most FPS with ever since I started playing Left 4 Dead during the demo back in 2008. Save house ahead! So yeah, take that as a compliment, man. You've done something right. Foul. <laughs> Boomer, no! Oh, I'm crying tears. Yeah, I like the textures you started doing. It's got a very old school feel in your campaign. Yeah! Why were they? Was there, was there a story behind the textures you chose? Weapon over oh, here! I was actually thinking. Heads up. Actually, it was mostly because I couldn't figure out yes. what I was doing when I gave the textures. But now I was thinking, maybe it's like some sort of weird testing facility thing. It seemed to fit considering uh, the theme of the campaign. I like them. Thanks. I know we gotta move, but I got this. Sure. Zoe said your name. You must have remembered what I told you about uh, the add-ons folder and the beta is a different location than the other Left 4 Dead 2. Because I forgot to tell you that earlier too, but here you are, so you remembered. All right, nice. let's go. More like it was already there. I did soon after you told me. Oh, okay. I'm glad some things between you and I stick. Wait a minute, I just noticed something. 
Oh no. I don't know if I can handle this. Uh, well, did you copy over those original survivor models to the beta? Uh, you gave me a link to them. Did you get them? Yeah. Okay, come here, preferably in the sunlight here, behind me, so you can see, because that's where the sunlight's shining. Go behind me. Look at the back of Zoe. It looks like she's wearing... This vest she's wearing, the design of it on the back, looks like what dominatrixes wear. People that are into fetishes and things. Yeah, yeah I know what dominatrix is. <laughs> Okay, I'm not gonna ask how or why, but uh, it just happened to stand out to me. I never noticed that before, the way they designed this vest on her. So it's wrong with wow. Andreas. I can't believe we did that! You think? There's a resemblance? I've played San Andreas, Maybe. but not Saints Row yet. Uh, Saints Row cool. the third. I think I have them except, all of them except the new one, but I haven't played it yet. I ain't paying full price for that thing. I'm ready. You ready? No, I know. That's one, that's another thing you and I agree on, because we can agree on things. I'm thinking, uh, because it came out, like, what, over the summer, maybe they'll drop it during the, uh, winter sale? Maybe. Oh, well, because we know what's gonna happen. Because those are the big ones they do, summer and Christmas sales. Hey, you remember the one time we played this, there was a zombie stuck on the door, the safe room door? That was great. Then maybe Assassin's Creed 3 and Far Cry 3 will drop, because during the summer sale, I didn't see them go any lower than like 40% any time that they were on sale. There's survivor models you do like, and they'll have melee attachments. Hooray! Something works. What's that? The horde, and I didn't hear you again. I just can't hear you over the horde, and I think my headset's got a muffling problem. I said I couldn't hear you over the horn again, plus I think this headset has an issue with muffling audio. Reloading! Oh, I said... So I looked... Yeah, sure. So I uh, jokingly Bill. said, allegedly, after you said Maul's action oh. worked, I'd like... Wait a minute. Maybe we shouldn't go in there. Don't yeah, okay. Oh, what's the worst that can happen? We got these guns, then we got each other. Fuck, Mr. the door. Lewis, Lewis, Lewis! What'd you do? You idiot! Damn it! Watch where you shoot! Maybe some magical habit? It's MFC! It's MFC! I'll just go in here and grab a gun. Reloading! It's okay, I got a gun. Reloading! Oh fuck, that's not a gun! What? Oh god! I almost blew you away with the security launcher because I thought I picked up a gun, but it's a security launcher. <laughs> By the time I realized I was firing, by the time I realized I was firing, I just like jerked my mouth so it hit you. <laughs> that would have been so bad. Like you probably see the smear over here somewhere. Oh my god! Do you see this blood smear on yes. this bus? Yes, or is it just me? That. Oh, that. that's a beautiful thing. <laughs> I want a I, screenshot uh, of this. Uh, hold on, hold on. Look out! 